<laughs> we gotta figure out a good wrestling name for this guy. Alright, so there's a speed seat spitter. I'm gonna try to shoot it. Yeah! Fuck yeah, there's another one up there. Come on. They're basically uh, gigantic... Uh, um, I'm trying to think of the uh, the creature's name from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Who is? They're basically like that, but they shoot they shoot seeds at you. Yeah. Oh, hi there! Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh man, an iron short sword is not bad. I'm literally just remembering. Um, there's a thing up there having a fight as well. So I see like block and a whole bunch of other shit. Um, yeah, I'm just going off of uh, muscle memory for prices of things. There's one foot of fucking copper wire. I don't think you can do anything interesting with the copper wire after you do his uh, his little quest here. But you never know. Let's see. Still leather armor. Iron mace is pretty good. Bronze daggers. I usually uh, keep bronze daggers uh, for throwing weapons. Let's see. Manual. Yeah, and I put that there. So now I've got wooden bucklers on my arms, so that'll help out uh, a little bit on defense and whatnot. Oh, my musket's not loaded. Go ahead and reload it. I think we're about done here. Yeah. All right, so let's go. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. You, asshole. Shooting at me. What is wrong with you? All right, let's go down to the rust wells for the first time. All right, so our headlamp is providing light for us. So you don't have to worry about uh, wielding a torch. But anytime you come down here or you're out and about, <laughs> gotta quit doing that. Gotta be careful. Don't hit walls. I mean, I could basically just drill through walls. That's pretty fucking cool, honestly. But yeah, anytime you come down into a cave or you're outside during the nighttime, you need a source of light. Unless you have, like, night vision and stuff like that. So torches are kind of important. I think as a tinker you can build, you can find like a, uh, a floatable uh, uh, object, like a glowstone. You can make it float, like putting on a, a float disc. That's a really good way of having light without having to use your hands, because a torch will uh, occupy one of your hand slots. Oh, wow. Okay, so horned chameleons are really tough. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, you know what? Uh, what's our abilities? Rebuke, robot, and sprint. So nothing, really. We have sprint though. That's pretty good. Yeah, you just fucking just tore that dude a new one. All right, there are creatures uh, throughout uh, Caves of Cut that are neutral, but he's see that beetle bum is tough, but he's neutral. So as long as you don't fuck with them, they'll be okay. They won't mess with you. Uh, sometimes they'll even help you out uh, unintentionally by defeating other monsters and stuff like that in caves and, and the overworld as well. Uh, I need to reload. Those vines I don't like. I try to shoot them with my gun. That's why I usually try to get a gun or some kind of uh, ranged weapon. Come here, you speed spitting son of a bitch. And we level up. All right, so we go to P here. We can do some tinkering. We can, um, we, we can get, yeah, we can't actually get, we can't get it because we don't have high enough intelligence. <laughs> Uh, our jackhammer is a cudgel, so I'm going to go ahead and, and get experience in cudgel. Uh, let's see, whenever you swing a cudgel, there's a 6 plus strength modifier percentage chance to daze your opponent for 1d4 plus 1 rounds, negative 4 intelligence, negative 4 agility, negative 10 quickness. If you daze a dazed creature, it becomes stunned for 1d2 rounds. Now, the d, like 1d4 plus 1 and the 1d2, those are dice rolls. So, a 1d4 is a four-sided dice, and the 1d2 is basically a coin, a coin flip, to uh, stun it, and stuff like that. We also have Charging Strike. When you charge an opponent with a cudgel, your attack will either daze or stun. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have First Aid and all that stuff down here. There's Tactics and a whole bunch of stuff. Shield. As long as, you're wearing, wield, as, long as you wield a shield, there's a 50% chance you'll block melee attacks one per round. Uh, harvestry as well. Heavy weapons. Uh, we also have uh, an attribute point that we could put onto something. <laughs> we could put it into intelligence. Let's go ahead and put it in intelligence, yeah. Yay, we're at the 13. As soon as we get to 14 intelligence, we can actually go from a negative 2 to a negative 1. Um, 
But see, it took almost two levels to get up to enough points to be able to get some more stuff here. But I think Butcher would probably be a good one to have. Go ahead and get it now and get it out of the way. Now we have 50 points left. Uh, so we've actually gotten two skills out of this one level up here. Uh, we can do Persuasion. We can offer a gift. You offer someone a gift of vital sustenance as a gesture of goodwill. Offering gifts to faction leaders will improve your reputation with their faction. That's kind of cool, but not needed. Uh, tactics? Hurdle. You receive no penalty to your DB when you sprint. Eh, little, what else did they have? Hurdle and then charge at 150. That's kind of cool. Uh, does Cudgel have anything else? Yeah, bludgeon. You know, let's go ahead and get that. Yeah, that sounds good. So that used all of our spell uh, skill points. Spell points. <laughs> oh, man. This jackhammer is so fucking cool. It's one-shotting basically everything. Now, remember, we're down here to get 200 foot of copper wire. And there's the stairs down, but I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah. Wire strand of 50 foot. Now, we have 101 foot. That's what our log is telling us down there. You can also do this quest without actually having to pick up the quest from the guy. Ow, jilted lovers. Ah, he grabbed at me and he stuck me with this thingy. Sounds like a good Saturday night. Hey! <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, nope. All right. Ooh, that's a ah, it's a hermit. Uh, he's fine. He's neutral. All right, let's go down another level. Uh, that's three foot. So that's 104 foot. There's a pile of trash. If we had scavenger, we'd be able to rifle through it and pick up some. Uh, some scrap uh, electronics and whatnot, but I think tinkering's kind of out of this guy's, <laughs> out of the guy's grasp. His intelligence is not all that great, but he sure knows how to fuck shit up with a jackhammer, though. And that's 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 for damn sure. <laughs> We're gonna find out the guy's wrestling name. What is our actual name? Hold on. Is there a way to tell? Let's go. P. No. Status. True kin child of the deep. Uh, um, yeah, I don't actually know what our name is. Wow, that's kind of weird. Hmm. Oh, well. I think we're just going to call him the Jackhammer. I mean, look at it, he's just fucking one-shotting these dudes. Just straight up, just fucking fucking them up. Right there, what else you got? A leather cap. I don't take that bronze battle axe you got there, though. Oh, no, no, stay away from that thing. There's another one there. Now, this game does have a built-in tile set. And you can turn it off if you want that pure, you know, <laughs> unadulterated, uh, roguelike feeling, you know, having ASCII graphics and whatnot. But I do quite enjoy the tile set that they have here. It reminds me a lot of, like, a broken, uh, like, a old-school uh, CRT game. Uh, no, I don't want that. I don't want that either. Hey, hey! We're at 150 foot of wire. So close. Now, I did recently play this on stream, and I got fairly far in with one of my characters as well. Uh, which would Reefs? I forgot what they do. But yeah, I got really far with uh, one of my characters, and I was quite surprised. I was... I had never gotten... Uh, that far before, so I'm hoping that with this guy, I mean, he's got some good fucking strength, so I'm hoping I can get pretty far with it. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and wait a turn, get this horned chameleon, and he's dead. <laughs> uh, I should have gotten uh, bow and rifle stats. Uh, we might do that in the next level up. I mean, it's always good to have a ranged weapon. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know what I did, but I, I turned him purple for a second. That was kind of cool. Probably like a crit or something like that. I think I dazed him. I think that's what that purple is. Is I dazed him. Come on. <laughs> what are you gonna call it? Come on. Come fight the Jakhama. More bronze daggers. Bronze daggers, like I said, are really good for throwing weapons. If you like run out of grenades. And we leveled up. We're not level four. Nice. Uh, so yeah, we did a hundred for bows and rifles. Uh, but we can get kickback as one of the things, but I think I'm just gonna leave it there for now and wait till we level up again. Ugh. 
Don't want to get my shit rusted. All right, so this thing here is pretty tough. It's an eyeless crab. Usually it's kind of tough, but let's see. We miss it. It doesn't penetrate our armor, and he launches into a fury of attacks. We hit him with the jackhammer, and he misses us. We don't penetrate his armor. Ooh, and he hits us for two points of damage. We don't penetrate. Come on. We did damage. Yeah. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, hey, and we butchered the corpse. We've got some eyeless uh, crap legs. That's cool. That's so cool. So, yeah, food does become a big, big problem later on. But hopefully with this butchery skill we can... Oh, there was something on the stairs and we killed it. Oh, my God. Reload. Oh, no. We started with leather armor's rusted. No. Reload. Uh, go away. Oh, my goodness. This is why they're called the rust wells. Is, our, is that... Yeah, that was our actual studded armor, wasn't it? Yeah. It's it's completely fucked. That's right. We got more. <laughs> Fire. Oh, we threw our grenade. Whoops. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Uh, shooting our gun at it. Getting a little experience using it. Alright, so luckily we had some more studded armor. So we didn't have to worry about all that. Let's do stems. Oh my gosh, there's so, there's so Whoa, what the hell is that? It's tough. This arthropod undulates forward with hundreds of chittering legs. Tiny needle point quills jut out from between plates of chitin along its protracted body. But you haven't met the jackhammer. The jackhammer. Maybe if we go ahead and buy a skill real quick, that might help us out some. But I don't think we have anything. Tactics, hurdle, no. Yeah, no, I don't think we'll be able to get... Basically anything is going to help us. Swift root effects, plus five, and we'll take away from missile, but no. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. You take a lemon? Oh my gosh. You hit for one damage with the jackhammer. Alright. Um, hold on. We have an acid grenade here. I'm going to equip it. Okay, he's out of sight, out of mind, but not... For long, boah, yeah. How 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 bad is he? He's injured. We're starting to get surrounded. But he's being wounded. He's badly wounded. Come on, and he's dead. All right. Let's get out of the way of that acid there. Wow, that was that was cool as shit. Uh, we'll take this iron mace, even though it is rusted. We'll take it. <laughs> There's this cave spider. Ooh, ooh, that acid's coming up here. All right, there we go. Now, let's just wait a few turns real quick and try to get our health back up. Don't, uh, don't always just hold down five because monsters do move about and you might get spotted and holding down, holding down past turn is really bad because you can just, you know, get utterly destroyed by something you didn't even see because it, it came at you so fast. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Reload. Oh no, we're out of ammo. Great. Damn it. I shouldn't have been shooting off my rifle. It's alright. Maybe. Yeah, no, it's in the. It, it, those are all in the way. I'm betting that the uh, stairs down is over there somewhere. Oh my gosh. I don't want these things to fucking. Rust out my damn. Oh wow, he's fucked up. Yeah, level five. Fuck out. A burnt capacitor. We'll go ahead and take it. We're getting a lot of scrap and stuff like that, but like I said, we don't really need it. Ooh, drop these fucking wooden arrows. Yeah, I don't need wooden arrows. Thank you, game. Appreciate it, but it's not needed. All right, so go to our powers here. 